It's always been there, Clay. I did my degree at Brighton University. It was like I had found home. <laughs> I could just make things all the time. I'm definitely on the journey with clay still. It's soft and it's tactile. It's got a memory. It's got lots of human qualities. I like a design brief, so I like boundaries, but I like experimenting and clay allows you to experiment very quickly. You get immediate feedback. I can draw, but I actually think I'm better at drawing through making. The clay I'm using, which is a fine stoneware clay, fires to the same temperatures as porcelain, so it's completely vitrified, it's durable, you can put it in the dishwasher, and function is very important to me in my work. It remembers my forms very well, it's quite practical in terms of me being able to repeat things. I've had to get to know the clay so that I know how to handle it. The dents initially came from partly my experiments with clay and partly I really loved life drawing and I was photographing bodies and the way light would fall across bodies and exploring that in clay at the same time. I spent some time in Italy where I actually started sticking handles onto these vessels and suddenly it all seemed to make sense to me, that idea of it having a form and a function. And now where I put the handles on is very strategic and I think they're quite ergonomic. The dent has allowed me to think about tactility and hopefully how they'll use the object in a way that makes them slow down a little bit, enjoy the object or the moment. With the everyday range, form is so important that I need a finish that doesn't distract and I think the satin matte glaze that I use does that very nicely. It's very quiet. It emphasises the dent without reflecting away from it. And then a glossy glaze on the inside is very practical and it also shows the colour of the clay. The dent in the form talks about the state that the clay is in before it's fired and I like that that story is in the final object. When I was on the MA at Central St Martins I spent some time in factories because I was very keen to be able to design something that could be industrially produced, but which had some qualities that the handcrafted object has. So starting to work with the factories in Stoke-on-Trent, I had to learn a huge amount about making moulds and what kind of forms worked. With the duo cups, the oval rim is so important to me. It's so important to the function and the idea of the object. It's about there being something personal in a world of standardised impersonal things about having something which is a conversation between people and materials between people and form it's the luxury of time when everything's so quick the time it took to make it and the time it takes to use it and that connection again can be made through a material and through an object it's making the everyday a little bit more special. It's deepening that relationship with the object. It's like when you get to know a person. So the more time you spend with that object and the more time you're encouraged to spend with that object through the design, the more likely you are to fall in love with it. And hopefully that makes it a sustainable product that isn't going to be a throwaway item, that therefore is an antidote to mass production.